Valentine's Day Massacre. It's, Every, me, it's me and then my bad side. I understand. Everybody's got a quote good and bad side. There's people. No, it's, it's, it's a voice. The voice is in here. And then it's me. It's just regular me. This is Nicholas Cruz, the Valentine's Day Parkland school shooter. On February 14, 2018, a 19-year-old named Nicholas Cruz carried out a shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, USA. Tragically, 17 people were killed and 17 others were injured. Cruz, who used to be a student at the school, fled the scene but was later arrested in a nearby town. Authorities looked into his troubled past and concerning behavior. His shooting was the deadliest high school mass shooting in U.S. history. Dom Douglas in Parkland, Florida. Surpassing the Columbine High School massacre in Colorado in 1999. The incident occurred during a time when there was strong public support for gun control following other mass shootings in Nevada and Texas in 2017. And I'm going to go take an Uber. In the afternoon before 2.40, from there I'll go into the uh, to school campus, walk up the stairs, load my bags, and get my AR and shoot people. After the tragic shooting at Parkland, students formed Never Again MSD, an advocacy group advocating for gun control. In response to the incident, Governor Rick Scott signed a bill on March 9th, which introduced new restrictions to Florida's gun laws. Today, I'm calling for a mandatory law enforcement officer in every public school. The bill also allowed for trained teachers to carry weapons and for the hiring of school resource officers. The Broward County Sheriff's Office faced widespread criticism for its handling of the situation. They were criticized for not taking action despite receiving multiple warnings about the shooter's concerning behavior. Additionally, some officers were found to have stayed outside the school instead of confronting the shooter immediately. As a result, several officers resigned and Sheriff Scott Israel was removed from his position. Horrific homicidal detestable act. A commission appointed by Governor Scott investigated the incident and condemned the police in action. They recommended that school districts across the state implement enhanced security measures. Focuses on bringing in law enforcement. I think you need to have individuals that are trained the perpetrator of this heinous crime was finally held accountable. His interrogation is seriously mind-boggling. The interrogation started normally, with the detective slowly but surely asking the right questions. Three shotguns, two rifles, and a handgun. How many other handguns other than the high point? I don't have any handguns. Well, the, in the, hand the high point is the 9 millimeter is a handgun. It's a rifle? Rifles. Okay. Well, you know more about high points than I do. All right, so you needed all those guns to protect yourself from the voices, but the voice is in your head. How are you going to get the voice out of your head? With three shotguns, two rifles, three rifles. Just to keep him occupied so he doesn't do anything. Did you have ammunition for all these guns? Yes. How much money do you think you spent over all these years on all these guns and ammunition about four thousand four thousand when did you buy your first gun what how old were you 18. so was it just right after you turned 18 like on your birthday which one did you buy first right like 10. 12 gauge and you never took any of these guns to the range and practiced with them other than the ar did you ever shoot the ak how many magazines you got for the AK? Four. Four? You got ammunition for all four? And they're all at brother's house? Yeah. Where do you keep them? Safe. Safe? Is there a combination to the safe? No. It's unlocked? It's a key. Where's the key? My drawer. Your drawer at the house? Yes. With the drawer to what? The safe. Okay, but the, the key to get in the safe is in the drawer in the safe? Where is the key to open the safe? Uh, shelf thing. Shelf thing of what? Like a desk? A the, the, uh, a dresser. Okay. 
Is it the only key on a ring, or is there other keys? Just that one. Okay. You just that one. You keep the the, uh, the gun safe locked all the time? Why do you do that? To protect myself. Protect yourself from what? From my voice. Okay. So you keep it locked to keep the voice from getting into the guns? You, since me and you have been talking, have you heard the voices? What's it said? To cut yourself. For you to cut yourself. Does the voice like me? Huh? Does the voice like me? He doesn't trust you. Why doesn't he trust me? I'm pretty relaxed, ain't I? I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure that out, too. Well, what does he like about me? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of grinning because I want to know what, what the voice's problem is with me. What doesn't he like about me? I treated you fairly. I've given you water. I talked nice to you. You know. You're too nice. I'm too nice. <laughs> yeah. The detective persistently asked why Cruz purchased that specific weapon and what his intentions were with it. They were determined to find a reason and kept focusing on the voice behind his actions. You tell that to your mom. Because I don't want to scare her. Yeah. I do love my mom. Yeah. I do love my well, mom. Well, then we're going to... We're gonna, when did she pass away from here? November. Pneumonia, you said? Was she sick long? She was in the I hospital? I taking her to... I told her to go to see a doctor. I tried to give her medicine. What kind of medicine you trying to give her? Cough medicine. Uh, did she die in the house? No. She, the doctor told me that she drove to the medic clinic. And they took her in. And they took her to the hospital. Okay. And where was the, where was the clinic at? What city? Yeah. Near your house? It was the CVS, CVS Mini Clinic. Okay, but, but where you were close to where you're staying at in Parkland? Yes. Okay, so she passed away in the clinic, or she passed away at the hospital? Passed away at the hospital. They took her to the hospital. Remember which hospital? Uh, Boca. Boca. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. Were you were you there when she passed away, or? So she was she in the in the hospital like in a room for a couple of days. You get a chance to talk to her. Well, was she in like a coma or what was she? She talked to me. Okay, but she was able to communicate. She was able to communicate, but I didn't know what to think. But it was pneumonia she died of. Pneumonia. And even when she was dying, you didn't tell her about the voices. You ever go to church? I wanted to. No, I'm saying ever in your life. Yeah. Do you believe in God? I don't believe in God. I what do you believe in? I feel like there's something. Okay. But if you believe in demons, do you believe in angels? Angels is the good. Demons are the bad. If you, when you say the word demon, you think it's an evil spirit? Or what do you think it is? A voice, demon voice. Okay, but going back, do you believe that there's good angels and God and afterlife? And when you, your mom like passed away, that your mom is somewhere right now? I feel like there, there's an afterlife. Okay, so do you, do you believe your mom's somewhere, even though she's passed away, she's somewhere else? Okay. But you, you never went to church or anything like that? No. You ever just, you know, maybe think about when you were hearing the voices go to see you? Know, a preacher or a priest or something like that. It was just one day where I was riding my bike and the voice told me not to go anywhere, just to ride. Uh -huh. I stopped by the church because that was me. I wanted to stop by at the church. Okay. Just to sit there. So what did you what did you think you really had to do other than kill yourself to get the voice out of your head? You didn't think a priest or a church could help you? What did you think you had to do? Try to kill myself. Okay, well, above and beyond all that, was there something else you could do to get that voice out of your head? I don't know. I mean, I'm just asking. Did you pray? You ever ask God to get the voice out of your head? Why not? You don't believe in God, or you, you believe there's something, right? I just believe. I don't believe there's God, 
But the voice just doesn't like me because he thinks I'm too nice. Why do you think I'm nice? Why do you why do you think I'm nice? Forget the voice. The detective inquired about Cruz's mother, asking how she passed away and if she had any previous illnesses. Cruz mentioned that she was taken to the hospital from a CVS Minute clinic. The detective also questioned him about his religious beliefs. Cruz clarified that he didn't believe in God, but had faith in an afterlife or something beyond this life. Last week. Last week. If you're making twelve hundred dollars a week, why don't you smoke marijuana every day to get rid of the demon? It's illegal. It's illegal? Yeah. And it's illegal. It was illegal whether you do it once a week or once once every five minutes. So why didn't you choose to get rid of the demon by doing it? Anytime you heard the demon just light up a blunt. I mean you had the money, man. Yes, I knew it was illegal and I didn't want to do it wrong, but he wanted to do it wrong. Okay. So the demon wanted you to do wrong, but then your good side didn't want to do wrong by smoking marijuana? Even though I made him go away. Even though I made him go away. Why didn't you go to a doctor and get a prescription for uh, Xanax or marijuana? You could have got a medical prescription. Right? Did you ever think about that? Uh, so it was illegal. You know, the doctors can, can prescribe you marijuana now and they can prescribe you Xanax. I don't even know what the, how much of the population is on Xanax, but Xanax is probably one of the most prescribed drugs in, in the country. Why do you think about that? When you went and had your, your, your broken finger looked at by the doctor, did you tell him about your anxiety? No? no well, I was, what? I was, I, was, I, was, I was scared to tell him the truth. And how'd you break your finger? I, I fell off porch. What were you doing when you fell off the porch? Running. Running? Why were you running? Because I was happy. Whose porch? Brother. Your brother's? Where your brother stays at? Hmm. Did you actually have a splint on your finger? Cast. Cast? I removed it. Hmm? I removed it. Well, I don't know why you didn't tell the doctor then you had anxiety problems and marijuana and Xanax cured your anxiety and made the demons go away. It seemed like an easy fix, man, if that's true. You sure you didn't like the demon voice? I don't like the demon voice. You sure? I'm sure. Then why didn't you go to a doctor to get rid of it? I, I'm just afraid of people. Why, 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 well, forget that for a second. Let me okay. ask you another crazy question. Okay. If the demon, was the demon there that night? Ian beat, beat you up on campus? Huh? Was the demon there that day when Ian beat you up on campus? Yes. He told me to go up to him. Okay. So, so who did Ian beat up? You or the demon? Me. Okay. So why didn't the demon do something to stop it? Huh? Why I don't know. That's a good question. Because the demons tell you to do all these bad things. Why couldn't the demon get you mad enough to get the best of Ian? I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. What, why the fuck? Why the fuck? I don't know. The, de the demons, this I don't know why. All powerful thing that tells you to do bad things and you're afraid of it. Why didn't the demon just take over right then when Ian was getting the best of you and get the best of Ian? Well, why, why, why did the demon not do that? Why do you think? I'm trying to figure out 
figure it out. I don't know. I don't. I can't figure it out either because I don't think the demon exists. Kai Seng? I don't think it exists. No, like. Can I, I, think, I think the dim. Go ahead, go ahead, what? Am I able to like think to myself about it? Yeah, sure. I think so. Yeah, hey, you can think all you want. I'm just. No, I'm just thinking about the demon. Alright. Well, you want me? I'll leave you to think for a while, and then I'll come back and talk to you. I, I personally. I think you're using the demon as an excuse. I'm not. I promise. You could have stopped the demon. Using marijuana or Xanax could have potentially reduced the anxiety caused by the demon. However, it's important to note that these substances should only be used with a valid medical prescription. Without proper guidance, marijuana or Xanax might have brought relief from anxiety, but the detective seemed to be sarcastic or skeptical about this idea. All right, will you tell the voice that don't hit yourself in the head because the, the, the attorney, the, the demon just requested, I will, I will stop talking to and you. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. You're scared of what? I'm scared of what? Why the fuck wouldn't he protect me? Why? What? Why wouldn't he protect me, man? I don't know. Why wouldn't he protect me? All right, well, again, your demon wants an attorney. Does he, does he even know an attorney? Any name in particular? Okay. Alright, well just relax. You're done talking to me. Alright? Yeah. Okay, calm down. Cruz made concerning statements and for everyone's safety he was restrained. He repeatedly expressed fear and being scared. As a precaution, Cruz was handcuffed and cautioned against causing harm to himself. When Cruz requested water, the officer provided it while taking necessary precautions. Although his brother was mentioned, contact was not permitted due to the arrest situation. The officer explained that they could only speak to Cruz if they expressed the desire to do so. They also warned Cruz about their statements regarding self-harm. Then the detective made an exception and let Cruz's brother see him. I, I did talk to Zach, he's right here. Okay, well, listen up though. If you want to talk to Zach because of some of the things you said, I'm going to have to sit in the room. I'm not going to talk to you, I'm not going to ask you any, ask you any questions. But I can't leave you too alone because some of the things you said about harming yourself. Yeah. Do you want to talk to Zach? Yes. Okay, Zach, have a seat. And again, I'm not saying anything at all. So. Who do you think mom would think right now? She, she would cry. Would, she would cry. You, you, you're, people think you're a monster now. A monster? You don't have anything, you're not acting like yourself. Like, why? Like, we've. This is not who you are. Like, come on. What do you, why did you do this? This is. Don't even laugh at me. Dude, this is. I'm sorry. I, I tried to. Why you hop into your Instagram? I tried to text you, like, literally a couple of days ago because I had this bad feeling in my heart. What, what happened to your Instagram? Why did you text me? But what happened to it? Why'd you stop with your social media? People. And you mean people, dude? It's, it's irrele irrelevant people. What? Who? Tell me exactly who. Who made you delete your Instagram? Who? People. What people? Just people. Don't Do you think me. this is not even a game? You're not going to wake up and be out of here. You remember when we were in the hospital and I told you I had your back? Remember when mom died? Remember we were walking down the hallway and I told you? You don't remember. You probably don't because you just did some fucked up shit. I told you when we were walking down the hallway that's just me and you and I had your back. Alright, I know you, you probably feel like you have nobody but I, I care about you. I literally would pour my heart out for you. I know it, I make it seem like I didn't care about you at all. I know I made it seem like when we were growing up that I hated you, I didn't like you. 
But truth is, I just didn't want to look like a, I didn't want to look weak. I love you with all my heart. Like, I will tell you, I'm telling you right now, I love you. All right, I know what you did today. Just, other people look at me like I'm crazy for you. And, and I, don't, I don't care what other people think. Like, you're my brother. I, I love you. I, I, want, I want you to... You can't, why are you... <laughs> Can I hug him? Yeah. Just want to hug him? Yeah, as long as you do. I mean, <laughs> yes, I love you too, bro. <laughs> I know what you've gone through, though. I love you. That's okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro. I know how you grow up. I know we've. I know that <laughs> people don't understand you, but I understand you. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, I, I don't I love you. You don't know what you want to do with your life. You didn't know what you wanted to do with your life. How, how do you not know what you want to do with your life? You talk about the army. I know. You talk about... Hmm. I think that's really it. I mean, you never really told me about how you want to do with your whole life. You can never even... You couldn't... Why would you jeopardize that? Like, you can't even own a gun now. You can't even... I mean, it's not even about the gun. I don't know why I'm talking about that. You're only 19, dude. Do you know how many years you had ahead of you? You know how many years you had? Years! You're stuck. You're still stuck in your teenage mindset and you did this dumb shit. You, you're not thinking about your future. I still care for you. What? I, I still love you. I still love you too. Bro, like, I mean, I just, I wish I could have prevented this. Because I feel like this, this is a big part of, like, my fault also. Because, you know, I grew up, we grew up together. Like, I know I was, I know I was the nicest to you. I know I probably made you feel like shit. And you told me that, I, I'm pretty sure that you told me that I made you want to kill yourself or something. And I'm sorry that I've I grew up being a dumb jerk to you and made fun of you and didn't want you to hang out with my friends even though you there's nothing wrong like I think about it like I was just I don't know man I don't I don't even know how to talk right now you can't even see Kobe anymore or Maisie and that's what you would text me you'd be like oh how are Kobe how amazing they're good. Like, dude, you had, you had me, though. Like, I was, I swear, like, I even cried, dude. I think I've, I've thought about, like, you killing yourself, and I cry about it. And by myself, I think, damn, like, this kid, like, if he killed himself, like, I would feel like, I feel like shit, because this is my brother, like, I love him. I'm a failure, dude. I mean, there's no question about it. Nah, dude, you you just you're lost. You're not in your head. Like you're not, you're not with yourself. You're, I feel like you're caught up in some like something in your head. It's not. You're not right in the head. That's, that's for sure. You're not right in the head. Even though I, we we chilled and like I've I've understood you and like. You remember those days when we go to the pool? Yeah. And we talk. We talk going there and walking back about crazy shit. Like I really I liked hanging out with you though, but you know like we have different like thought like we, we didn't really like I don't know, we, we do different stuff. That's why we I wasn't always there. You know, I like to skate, you like to Guns. You guys just you like guns. That's all I knew. I wasn't in the. I didn't feel it like that. I was like the. <sighs> Man, I don't even want to leave. I want to. In front of his brother, Cruz completely broke down. The weight of his loss hit him hard, and he fell apart emotionally. But his brother had a touching message for him. He urged Cruz to stay strong and positive, promising to visit him whenever possible. He encouraged Cruz not to give up 
to keep pushing through and reminded him that he is loved. I don't care what other people think. I just want you to know that I'm, I love you, dog. Like, I really do. Like, like I, don't, I feel like I had a better bond with you than mom. Like, all right, so I, got, I really got to go. So. Okay, thanks. All right, like I said, you're going to get the chance to talk to him once he gets phone privileges and have visitation. All right. I believe you. I, just stay solid for me, all right? I will. And try to find God, all right? Okay. Just, you say you have a demon, try to find God. Because God is a good. God will be there for you. Just, when you're thinking in your head, just, just try to connect with God, all right? Okay. Try to see, like, just try to connect with some. Just try to connect with someone Except besides negativity in your head, try to think of positive things, all right? Yes. All right, I love you. I love you too. I'll see you, all right? This isn't the last time I'm going to see you, all right? Okay. So stay strong, all right? Okay. All right, darling. I love you. I love you too. I really do. I love you all my heart. I I don't care about no one else but you right now. Even, I still don't, even when this wasn't happening, I only care about you. Sorry, that might not make sense, but... Right. Okay, come on, Zach. I'm just gonna... Nice. I think if he I understands... If I keep talking, I'm just gonna keep jumbling my words. No, I know, that's why I understand. He understands what you're saying. I have to have one more hug. Just one. Just one. Yeah, go ahead. Make it quick. One hug. I want you to know, bro. I really care for you and I love you, alright? Okay. And you'll get through this, alright? Just, just stay solid, alright? It's gonna suck for a while, but... Alright? Just, just stay strong. Okay. Let me see if he wants some more water before I go back to my desk. You want some more water? Yes. One more? Alright, like I said, you wanted to talk to him, so I followed through for you, alright? Thank you. No problem. He assured Cruz, saying, Stay strong and remember that you are cared for. He acknowledged that things may be difficult at the moment, but he believed Cruz would overcome them. Keep your spirits up and remain resilient, he advised. Take care of yourself and stay hydrated. Shortly after, the interrogation came to an end. On October 20th, 2021, Cruz pleaded guilty to all charges and expressed remorse for his crimes. The prosecution sought the death penalty and a four-month trial was anticipated to begin in January 2022 due to various delays, including the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The trial eventually started on July 18th, 2022. On October 13th, 2022, the jury unanimously agreed that Cruz was eligible for the death penalty. However, they couldn't reach a decision on whether it should be imposed, leading to a recommendation of life imprisonment without parole. Consequently, on November 2nd, 2022, Cruz received a life sentence as required by Florida law, which follows the jury's recommendation. It's worth noting that the legislation regarding the unanimity needed to impose the death penalty has been changed, partly influenced by Cruz's case and a bill signed by Governor Ron DeSantis. If you think this was an unbelievable case, wait until you find out what happened at the next one.